<laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from my home base near Llano, Texas, an RV park. And uh, yeah, it's nice. It's actually 60 degrees here this morning, 6 0. It was uh, 97 for a high yesterday, it'll be 90 today. Yeah, it's, uh, and the lows are going to be in the 60s for the next 10 days, looks like. So that's great. I'm still alive in my 2019 Casita Freedom Deluxe, 84 square feet of interior space, long-time, full-time RVer. And today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, the day after tomorrow, the day after yesterday, the day before tomorrow. <laughs> day after tomorrow? Yo! <laughs> Anyway, it is the first day of your rest of your life, so make it a good one. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The temperature in Bangor right now is 53 degrees. With a high of 69. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? The temperature in Butte right now is 47 degrees. With a high of 67. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? In Fairbanks right now, it's 50 degrees. With a high of 76, that's pretty nice. Anyway, I got me, uh, I'm going to do two, or do one video, maybe two videos today, I'm not sure. I, I got a product, it's called, uh, I'll show you. It's called, uh, it's got a, a base that goes on this, but it's a water boiler, or it's called a electric kettle. And this, you know, this top goes down like that and it pops up like this. And then this is the on-off switch. But anyway, I did a video about this thing because it boils water real quick and it's electric. And since I'm in an RV park where, you know, the electric's paid for, I don't use my propane, okay? Any, any, I use everything electric that I can and save my propane, even though it's only like 5 or $6 a month. That's how real cheap I am. <laughs> but anyway, I'll do that video and then I'm going to do, may, I've got, I did a driving video, I may post it, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes today. But anyway, uh, what else? i got to introduce my buddies back here. This is Trenton Clump, a grinning it. Tweety Bird right over there. Just And then there's a little teddy bear with my, with my name on it. Popeye and Olive Oil from the old Popeye cartoons. Betty Boot from the 1930s. Mr. Bill. That wasn't very good. <clears throat> Mr. Bill from the 1970s. Right, and that's a sticker behind them that says Native Texan with a jalapeno on it. And then over here is a million dollar bill, thousand yen note, a five euro note, a two dollar bill, Mr. Bojangles, organic bananas with tin foil on the top, two of olive oil's bras, a smiling face with nose, ears, and hair, and a saying that says life is better in the casita. Hey Google, tell us a mom joke. Your mom is so beautiful, Helen of Troy saw her and was like, whoa. That's a joke. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess I better do some comments. But anyway, get that did out of the way. But it is a beautiful day here. You know, the good thing, I really do like this RV park. I do I like it better than either one of my home bases? Uh, in some ways, yes. Some ways, no. I mean, you know, you can't have 100% of everything. Uh, but uh, overall, I'd give this park a 9. Uh, for, for RV parks, I'd give it a 10. But as far as a place to live, a nine, about eight or nine in that range. Because it's got a laundry mat right over there you can walk to. It costs you $1.50 to wash, $1.50 to dry. Uh, you know, it's uh, quiet. I mean, very quiet. And, uh, you know, there's no barking dogs, no nothing. You can walk around through the park and no barking dogs, no nothing. Nope. You can go down to the city. I can walk down to the city park, which is uh, 100 yards, well, less than 100 yards, 75 yards. And then go down to the Lano River and walk along the river. And then I can go walking on the golf course. I can go play golf. So, yeah, it's just right here. Everything's just right here. And it's 2.2 miles downtown Lano. And they have a little grocery store here called Lowe's, L-O-W-E-S. But it's a grocery store, not a hardware hardware store. And, yeah, they've got everything you need. It's, a, it's about 15% higher than H-E-B in Kingsland. So if I need a lot, I'll go to Kingsland and buy my groceries when I check my mail. Having said that, let's get some comments done, Rusty. Uh, okay, let's do it. Uh, this is uh, Rob Towan. 
he says, hey, Rusty, even though it is said that golf is a work, walk, walk, good walk spoiled, I'm glad you had a good time. The next time you play, you would ask some of the regular golfers if they've heard or seen a travel trailer tow vehicle hit by a bladed approach shot. <laughs> you know, the green on number one. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, they're, they're, they can't reach me. I mean, they, 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 it would have to be a horrible shot. But anyway, <clears throat> Jjoy Seven, enjoyable track ride tour of town. Thank you. Yeah, it, it's a neat little town. It is typical little Texas small town. Big courthouse, county seat. Anyway, Tus Nogas Uh Anyway, Rusty, living the American dream, if there is such a thing. You're an inspiration in times like these. You know, all times are different, and they're all good, so just make the best of it. Guardian Pet Care and Massage, thanks for bring, bringing us with you, Trackman. Good video tour. Thank you. I enjoyed it myself. Yeah, you guys get me to do things that I probably wouldn't ordinarily do. Uh, you know, if I hadn't started the YouTube channel, I would really have a boring life. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know what I'd be doing. I don't even like to think about it. This is Triking Jerry D. Been hearing in many blue states are having monuments. Oh, God. So what's next? I don't care. Uh, Sue D., a tiny home cabin. Hi, Rusty. I know something. I know something ago, some time ago. Boy, I'll get it right here in a minute. I know some time ago you had a, a vid with Deborah Dickinson. Uh, yeah, she had a land on buying land and thought you'd like to see it out of curiosity. Okay, I'll check it out. Thank you. It says you. It says you can feed this. Is it? It says you can feed this to Matilda, to Matilda after you watch it. I don't mind. Uh, okay. <laughs> Matilda don't want that. She wants something bad. You know, Perry Night Moon. Don't know how I missed the video yesterday, but I love this little dream cabin. Also, the furniture. Oh, the furniture was awesome. But the thing of it is, guys. You know, and I've checked several places. In the city of Lano, you cannot put a tiny home. It has to have a. It has to be 960 square feet minimum. <clears throat> Train Bennett, Shane Bennett, that's the person's name. Do y'all? Do you all do trade-ins? I'm not a salesman. He he thinks I'm a salesman for somebody. No, I, I don't uh, do. Uh, I'm not a salesman. Train uh, Izzy. Izzy. I guess that's the name. Marble Falls, uh, walk downtown. The clock is the rotary clock. It, it, it's it's an, uh, a rotary, like rotary club. It's an organization that is very good and sent my mom to Italy for a year. The rotary clock is not political. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, this is the same person. It's literally a fa family restroom. Don't critique it. I'll do what I do. You do what you do. I tell you, don't tell me what to do. Here you come, Matilda. Here's just a snack. <laughs> That's my my town right there, Marble Falls. Well, good, Izzy. I'm glad you like that. Anyway, later, Gator, downtown. I want to go downtown. Beautiful building. Yeah, you can play that song, downtown. It's a good song. Uh, beautiful building. Ta tax sales on the steps of the courthouse. Yeah, most of That's where they are held most of the time. Many of my kinfolk lost their property on courthouse steps all over the south. It seems my family likes drinking alcohol more than paying taxes. <laughs> Thanks for the tour of the warehouse district. Dis warehouse district. Anyway, thank you, uh, Later Gator. Uh, this is Bubba Freeman. <laughs> his people, his his kin folks like alcohol better than paying taxes. I like that. Bubba Freeman, wearing a mask has proven has been proven to. I don't care about masks. I'm not interested. Scotty Thompson, cool video talk, Rusty. Is there a bowling alley in Lano, Texas, Rusty? Cool comment, call Rusty. No, I don't think there, there is no bowling alley in this area, Scotty. I don't know why, but there's not. Francis Ebicky, oak trees are my favorite for shade. The only prob problem is the hundred is the hundred or year so, so years to grow. Yeah, if you plant an oak tree, you, at, at age 80, you drink, you're a real optimist, I'll tell you that. Uh, Marvel Briscoe, uh, congratulations for your new home from Orlando, Florida. We love you. Keep up the good life. Keep the good life up. You're great. Well, thank you, Marvel. Appreciate it. Uh, AI Marvin, uh, 
one thing I like about Texas is the old courthouses. Yeah, well, they're all over the U.S. They are often downtown in a traffic circle with, and the architecture adds to the character of the city. Yeah, I guess you could say that. You know, it's, it's just the same as it was over in, in Europe thousands of years ago. You know, the big buildings were where the wealthy people ran the show. You know, that's the same way it is here. Uh, Mark Reynolds, very nice video showing the area. Well, thank you. That was on the Casita Boondocking Dry Camping at Lake Amistad. That was a long time ago. Yep. Uh, that's a good place to go in the winter, but they've closed that thing. A lot of those uh, campgrounds around there for some reason. Apollo 14, the alley ride was really special. I, 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 I think last time I went down an alley, I got mugged. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I don't think you need to worry about that in Lano, Texas. Uh, can't be happy. Sounds like your golf game was a fun adventure. It all stay cool, Russ. It it is every every time I play golf, it's a whole new game. It's like I never played before. Anyway, this is comment call Evelyn Evelyn Lowry. Rusty, glad to see you around people again. Everyone likes your personality. Enjoy riding your trike and playing golf. Yeah, that's what I plan to do, and we'll do that for a while. And then if I want to change, I'll change. And that's the advantage of living in a home you can hook up and pull away john b what what was this at rush hour lol did you know that was on i think i did that on sunday uh carby Lodian, that's cool yeah uh, anyway triking that was and this is on the try a lot of comments on the triking stuff carby Lodian, that's cool amish amish sailor there's no better gift for a dad or grad than tires and service <laughs> yeah that was on that sign downtown uh, G Reg's life, Lano, Texas is a cool looking town. Yeah, it is. Just a small town, man. Not a busy place, that's for sure. JT's all outdoors. Hey, Rusty, you came through. You came through again for us. You turned us on to the MiFi a while back, and it worked for a while. We are at park. We are park host at on Lake Whitney. And we had virtually no signal, one to two bars. We got our Wii Boost in today, and it works great, better than expected. I can now resume my fishing videos for my channel. Thanks so much for checking these things out. Take care. No, the, the uh, Wii Boost RV65 uh, signal booster works. I mean, I'm telling you, it works. It does for me. If you've got a signal, but you got to have a signal. It doesn't create a signal. you got to have a signal. Rip Snorton. Uh, it says at 843, that looks like Virginia Creeper. I thought it was Poison Ivy. I still think it is. Uh, Walter Pendleton, always enjoy spending time with Rusty's Rangers. Well, good for you, Walter. Good morning. Tanner, do you believe that they would let Poison Ivy grow rampantly up a wall of a building downtown? Um, yes. <laughs> yep, I do. It says, LOL, that is not Poison Ivy. It may not have been. I don't know what it was. It's pretty, though. Laurie Wynn, Rusty, have you been wondering since you sold your place here in Capitan, do you know what they're going to do with it? They're not going to do anything with it. She's got a uh, like a road track. She's just going to drive over there every now and then from Lubbock to get out of the heat. Uh, Julie Costanero, uh, I like when they have a set when they have separate bedrooms. Creates a restful setting. I guess that's on the cabin. Uh, anyway. M. Lane, The Adventures of Trike Man. Downtown Lano looks nice. The, nice. the courthouse is pretty. Yeah, there, there's some really nice courthouses. I think the, I think Fredericksburg's the county seat for that county. I'm not sure is that Gillespie County. But anyway, they, they have a beautiful courthouse too. I believe that's right. I could get that town mixed up. Rita Richardson, a beautiful place, Rusty, on downtown Lano. Thank you. Joan Summerfield. It is interesting to see the amenities that this new location has available. River, golf, park, bike trail, probably others that I, I may have missed. You often mention the stretching you do. Would you please consider doing a video about it? I did a video about it. I think it got two views. Uh, I know firsthand how lack of even simple exercise can affect your body in a very short time. No, I, I use a... I just do some simple exercises every day, and they're basically just simple stretches and exercises. I do them twice a day, once in the morning before I go walking and once in the evening before I sit down to beer 30. <clears throat> this is triking again, Eric Livingston. I enjoy seeing Lano's Courthouse Square. It seems like a nice town with several restaurants to choose from. 
I'm looking forward to seeing how RV Park Living works out for you. You provide some excellent content. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you, Eric. Yeah, so far, you know, but again, how RV Park Living works out for me does not mean anything to anybody else because it, it depends on the RV Park and it depends on you, okay? If you have a good attitude and you get a good, quiet RV Park, perfect. But if you have a little attitude and you get a barking dog on both sides of you, you got a problem. Uh, anyway, thank you, Eric. Uh, Ethel Perry, thumbs up. We'll do three more here, four more, whatever. Uh, Samuel Fink. Samuel Fink. Hello, Samuel Fink. Anyone else notice the birds singing? Nothing better than sharing a cup of coffee with them as the sun shows up. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the birds here are the same as they were at my ba home base uh, near Kingsland. They're chirping all day long. When I go walking along down the river, uh, yeah, the, you, there's birds all around. Of course, you got the geese and the ducks. It, it's a it's a nice area. I mean, I, I may be here a long time. I'm not going to commit myself, but right now, it's I like it. I have to say I like it. This is Sea Lions. This is on the tiny home cabin. Uh, I like it. The price is great, too. Love the quality. Real wood, mini split, hammered sink plus a porch. Awesome. Hope you find a piece of dirt for this. Seems like a nice, quiet, long-term home. Well, it would be, and uh, but you can't put it anywhere, you know. I mean, could I put it over at my home base near Kingsland? Uh, well, yeah, yeah I'd, I'd had to take the uh, uh, cover off the concrete slab, and I could have put it on that concrete slab, but I'd had to remove the cover, and I might have been able to do that. Did I want to do that? No. That uh, There's, you know... There's a whole world out here, guys. <clears throat> anyway, just, anyway. This is on Trike Man Triking Downtown Lano. Jim Christensen, Fre Fredericksburg would be nice to see if you are nearby and have time. Plenty of traffic in Lano for a small town. Capitan seemed much smaller and a safer place for a trike man to run wild. Uh, that was not poison ivy growing on the wall. It, has, uh, it had four leaves, and the poison ivy has three. Okay, I'll go with that. Thank you, Carl Hopp. Uh, I paused the uh, video and went to Google Earth Maps, found the address, and zoomed, zoomed in. You, were, you weren't there. What a letdown. <clears throat> uh, here you go. Same guy, Carl Hopp. You do know bikes and trikes are considered vehicles and aren't supposed to ride on the sidewalk, boss. Uh, I've never had anyone say a word about it. And besides that, it, it, uh, it's a three-wheeler, you know what I mean? It, and the rear wheels are only 26 inches, so it's as wide, about as wide as my shoulders and so forth. You know, it's a, nobody's going to say anything. Uh, Vince Simmons, you have a real talent for finding interesting places. Cheers from Central Florida. Vince, thank you, Vince. Uh, we'll do three more here. Johnny Petraglia, I'm beginning to think Trike Man and Rusty are the same person. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Gary Ferguson. What a nice, lazy little town. Uh, this is S. Lee. Here you go. I wanted to ask you if a lot of small Texas towns have stores that are abandoned and closed down. Every small town in the USA does. That's what it looks like in a lot of these town, those towns. Hope not, but the Walmarts and shopping malls affected towns all over the USA. Some are coming back. Anyway, it's... Uh, yeah, the big, the big uh, box stores put them out of business, okay? But uh, having said that, guys, from uh, near Lano, Texas, on a beautiful morning, 60 degrees here, and it's supposed to be in the 60s every morning for the next 10 days, and highs are going to be in the low to mid-90s, so that's okay. We can do that. And that's good for this time of the year in Texas, trust me. But having said that, guys, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Carpe diem means seize the day. Carpe diem, adios means bye, or yeah, bye, bye basically. Go, go with God or whatever. Bye. Adios, bye, bye, buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you a penny. Some of you have, and some of you are using the link. I appreciate it. I know it's a little extra effort, and, uh, you know, I don't blame you for not using it. And what else? Drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day. It uh, won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and... Also help you lose weight because you, you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. And then what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. 
hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet it is. Sure it is. And then what else? Uh, stretch, 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 swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, 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 exercise your body once or twice a day. Why? Well, because you'll feel better. For one, you'll feel better immediately and you may live healthier longer. How about that? And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your frontal lobes, your brain, your consciousness. And those little neural links up in there are forming your thoughts. So add good ingredients. You know, turn off the news. You know, that's just a trash dump on TV. So having said that, uh, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, and enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. And do that day after day, and I'll do a post some stuff today and we'll just keep this thing going. Boom, 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 boom. Adios amigos. Till next time. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.